Now, the idea of creating a persona character to act out as on the internet is certainly nothing new. One of the oldest and most famous examples of such characters, which still goes on today, is James Rolfe's Angry Video Game Nerd. Now, most people by now clearly know that Rolfe and the Nerd are two very different people, and this is simply a character that Rolf acts out as for entertainment purposes. And it's hardly limited to videos, as people have created Twitch accounts and even Twitter accounts based off of this very idea. Even porn artists have taken to having a persona that they act as and create porn around. While relatively new, VTubing is, in essence, just this, right? People creating a persona and acting it out on stream. These people are actors, pretending to be anime girls on the internet. Now I have no interest in watching VTubers. The most I had ever seen of them was YouTube clips from their streams. At first it was like, oh, hey, wow, she said that? But as I saw more and more of the same exact thing, I started to realize something. VTubers are just uh, another brand of streamer that was already around, one that the internet used to despise. All nicely wrapped up in an anime avatar and now beloved icons. The Titty Streamer! Some of them are more obvious about it. <laughs> oh hey, look at this dragon girl's tits! Others are just slightly more subtle, ranging from hey, this dog girl wants to fuck the other girl she's streaming with. Or, hey, this shark girl doesn't wear pants or underwear. W wait, am I, am I talking about an anime thing or furry porn? Uh, it's no coincidence that the vast majority of VTubers, and every single one ever shown to me outside of one instance, are female streamers, and that the one male streamer was still using a female avatar and saying that he was a trap. VTubers as a whole are rife with softcore charged sexual content, with a pretty large Rule 34 following. VTubers are meant to sell you cute anime girls that might just be having a whole lot of yuri fun with some other cute anime girl. Only now that it has an anime avatar, the internet fucking loves it. The same people that called titty stream donators simps are now donating money to make a dragon girl press her tits together. So, why am I talking about this at all? Honestly, I'm not even upset at the girls who are doing it. It's not their fault they're working for these companies that just want to make money off of horny virgins online that don't just follow porn artists on Twitter instead. It's mostly the internet for doing a complete 180, because it's not cringy or being a simp if you just want to fuck a cute anime girl instead of a 3D pigu, duh! <sighs> Fucking stupid.